All right, here we go. Game for thought. Rocking the snake. He's been doing well recently. Going up against Acid with his Greninja, who seems to be the character that he kind of settled on in this game. At least you have played before. So we'll see how this matchup goes. Oh, my lord. Acid in early trouble here. Is he going to make it back? He does, but eats another grenade. Or not a grenade. Explosion for it. Finally able to get back to the ledge. Can that F smash two frame? I'm um, sure it can. I'm sure it hits below ledge. Mm. Oh, that was a butterfly C4. Huh. Very rare uh, that that ever happens. I believe it's like a 1% chance. Yeah. I just like looked at the C4. I was like, wait, that's cross-shaped. That's not a normal C4. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, wow, that's pretty cool. So Q off to a really good start. He does play very, very explosive. Loves to swing. Uses Snake's huge hitboxes and tools. Yeah, we'll see what Asa can do here. And... I don't, Greninja, you really want to hit Snake at disadvantage, but what can Greninja do to that Cypher? The other thing, too, is that Snake is very difficult to approach because grenades, the explosions, oh, and the threat of the parry is so scary. And, and that's, there's a two-frame. Yeah, there it is. Can't tell if it was up smash or F smash, but it doesn't matter. It got the job done anyway. Uh, that was an F smash for sure. Um, Might have been up smash then? No, wait, up smash would send him up, though, right? No, that, that was, that was, he, hit, he F smashed his uh, up B recovery. Oh, it was F smash. Okay, okay. There's just so many explosives, it's, it's, I don't it's know which possible, one It's possible that it might have hit him before he even grabbed the ledge. Probably. Yeah, Q, or Game for Thought, excuse me. His old tag was Q. I'm always going to uh, call him Q. It's just easier. It, it is easier. <laughs> and he seems to be okay with that. Uh, yeah, he, he's off to an amazing start. A little yeah. bit too thirsty on that, though. Well, I mean, it was working up until there. And I don't see why he's going to change it up now. Oh yeah, talk about explosive. He is planting these C4s all over the place. Oh god, those Greninja sounds. And now, yeah, because of the C4 placing, Ash is going to be forced to back off until it goes away. That could take 30 seconds. But Q approaching in the meantime. Oh, good catch on the Shadow Sneak, alright. Creative little tech, uh, not tech chase, but... Uh, uh, fall Altair and Nisei! I said he's got to be careful for that C4, yep. Uh, see, yeah. Definitely playing hopscotch on that thing. You guys can play on the other one now. Hopscotch? Oh, no. yeah. oh my god, I, I, I'm actually doubting if that's called hopscotch anymore. Anyway, uh, anyway. <coughs> Acid slowly bringing this back, but yep. against Snake, the boar of attrition is super scary. Yeah, he's already taken 108, and he could die very quickly now. He's going to have to play very clean if he wants to survive, which he's doing so far. But frame one grenade could be... A, Problematic if he's not careful. Also, any missed uh, execution could lead to uh, an up tilt with with poor DI. That could be death. Oh, at this it'll definitely kill yeah. now. Tries to wait out the F smash. Does the down smash? Not gonna be enough. Oh, but the Nikita. Yeah, he yeah, can't outplay that. Nikita is just so oppressive once they are off stage, uh, very far, and have to angle the recovery a very specific way, and they have no options. That move is super, super good at closing out games. Because it allows Stink to do so from super far away as well. Okay, so they're going to try again. So yep. Acid is now on his winner's bracket game. He needs to needs to get this to game three. See if there's any adjustments. There was a really explosive start with the uh, with the snake in the first game, though. Yeah. So we'll see if Acid has made any adjustments. Yeah, because he, he was definitely in control as the, as the game winded down. And as, as we said, the attrition just kind of played against him. So. Mm -hmm. Oh, he tried to combo into that C4. Unfortunately, he didn't go f far enough for it. Yeah, and you see those hitboxes from Snake. You can kind of throw oh. them out kind of belligerently at times. And even if it doesn't win clean, it'll still trade. So Acid has to respect those and punish them after he whips. Oh. Yeah, Acid saw that grenade like last second and it got the hell out of there. This is actually another thing. FD is a little hard to see the grenades at times. And he got oh, him he again. He got two framed. Oh my lord. He got him again. I I actually wonder if he even snapped ledge there because he did ride the stage a little bit. He did. And that could slow your ledge grab. Yeah, it's possible like you said in the like maybe in the first game as well he got hit before. 
Yeah, it's really hard to tell. There's a second forward air. Wow, Not that be forward air still hit. That's crazy. Oh, uh, yeah, now Q is going to slow it down. Good end there with And this is where Snake is so annoying. Oh, my lord. Because these dash attacks can be a little crazy. Yeah, that's not going to be enough. It's like it's so heavy. No edge guard. Going to just stay on stage. And he overextends. Tosses him off. No Nikita, but he's going to try to two frame again. Oh. Goes for the Nair only. Okay, catches him trying to air dodge. Good use of the active frames on that hitbox there. But he's already taken 70 damage on his second stock. He'll need to be very clean if he wants to get back into this because. As we saw in that first game, you cannot afford to let the snowball. Yeah, Acid not learning his lesson too. Q is still swinging, and he's, instead of w with punishing it, he's oh, just running the in. Grenade. The free one grenade! Uh-oh. Yeah, lots of grenades being littered into Acid space. Now Q not camping that much though. He is he is running in. I mean, it seems to be working for the for the time being. It is. He's just he's just trying to be as erratic as possible, and it's working out really well for yeah. him. Yeah, Acid has not been able to That's control it. him. Little care package C4, going to clean up that stock, and he's one stock away from uh, winner's semifinals. Yeah, he's placing these C4s in really good spots where Acid is going to chase him. The thing, too, is on his recoveries, Acid has just not been able to apply much pressure. Acid's forward airs have been really keeping him in the game, though, so if he can keep nailing those, he might have a chance. As you say it, speaking of the wet devil there. But because it's water. Anyway. Uh, oh, frame data. Oh, but he misses the combo. Good chase down. You got to be careful. Oh, he was still within range of the C4, so he's going to get punished. Those dash attacks doing work for Q. Oh, rolls this time. Oh, he sends attack. him out uh, onto the stage. Interesting choice. Oh, no grab. I thought he was going to do something. No grab, no dash attack, no nothing. Back throw. And he's backing off every time. And I get it. He he, he hasn't found a success. Holy that shit. Recovery. That recovery. That was the most ignorant down air. Is that and that's the key. Wow, he just ran up and helped. <laughs> that, was, that was the most crazy down air. He jumped all the way to the mid stage and fast fell on him. Oh my gosh. Alright, so Q takes it. Two a oh. hole. I can't believe that. Very. Alright, Chancellor and Zekin, winner semis. What the hell? So in our top four winner side, we have Chancellor, Zekin, Chef, and Game for Thought. That is, this is not the bracket that I envisioned that we were gonna have tonight. Hey man, school starts tomorrow for UH. I blame that. Hmm, <laughs> we shall see. What? Huh? As who? What? Oh. Small left and uh, Tempest. Oh, shh. Oh, shh. got to play for nine. Small left and Tempest, please. That's set up right there. 